some checks are around. Uh, I really can check it for a long time, but uh, in the long run, it must be one for for Elvis quite comfortably. I mean, it will take some time, but but not much effort. More time than an effort, actually. <laughs> Uh, on board eight, we have Ibrahimov. Ibrahimov beating actually Kachia, as far as I, I can judge from this position. White is a home rookout. We don't have a result officially confirmed, but it's a win for White. Ibrahimov is back in the tournament with 50 percent. Yesterday he won against other gears, and not, now he gets on fifty percent. Quite, quite not a not a shameful score, and he will be looking forward to even improving the, improving it further. On board nine, we actually have long games today. Now. Gulko against Shabalov, we haven't seen it in a while. Gulko, Gulko is, has two bishops advantage and is better on the better side of the draw, let's say, like that. And uh, then Shanklin and Hughes, last maybe, time we checked in. Maybe even even on the better side, with good chances to to push for a win, but it's, it's still a drop. The bishop is 6 3, knight c6, attacking e5 pawn, and if you protect it with f4, knight a5, and a total liquidation after taking on c4. And uh, last time we looked at Tyler Hughes, we thought he was on top in a rookend game. So let's see if that anything changed there. Ooh. It's changed a lot. Actually, as a, as a scenario Similar. I mentioned a while ago, actually, it, it's not anymore a, a rookend game, rook white, but the, these pawns are just rolling, and not only rolling, but like but queening, I think, at this point. Trying to win. Black, yeah, it looks, it looks like Hughes might have already so won. Black, black so, so again, be careful. Mm. You might be queening a pawn in your rook end game, but watch out for what your pawn is doing on the other side. And then on board 11, we have it still in running, but, but uh, uh, maybe the game is over, maybe not, but... It's over, I lost. It's oh. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, I thought I was doing okay earlier in that game, but... A lot of Tristan some scores he's doing, so he is back on minus one score still. Is it minus one, or maybe 50% actually? Um, no, he'll have three well, points. Look, three actually. out of seven, yeah, he's three out of seven. He's definitely out of contention for top prizes, but, but he will... Maybe push. he can push back into push respectability. Back into first, yeah, definitely. Exactly. Definitely. That's about wrapping up today's round. Another exciting round, beautiful win for, for Nakamura. Interesting games on top boards. And uh, tomorrow we shall be looking, it's quite, quite difficult to forecast the... So Not tomorrow, is. don't come back tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow, Friday, yeah. the players and the commentators and the second yeah. with right. a much deserved rest day. <laughs> right. So look for some awesome chess in Friday as the players get an entire day to rest. You, you asked Nakamura what he was going to be doing. What are your plans? I'm going to be working, working and so okay. <laughs> maybe shopping, <laughs> not going to the Cardinals game though. I was, I was at the Cardinals game uh, when I first got into St. Louis actually and uh, I was on the air with Mike Shannon and Rex Singfield, the founder of the club and I even uh, wore my Phillies hat to the game, <laughs> which, because I heard, I mean in Philadelphia I would never do the opposite, like if, if, there were, if I had a friend visiting from Philadelphia, rooting for the opposite team because Philly fans are rough. But I heard that in St. Louis, it's, you know, the Midwestern politeness, that everybody would just be, hi, and, you know. <laughs> I was okay. Okay, so we are wrapping up. Yeah, we're wrapping up, so join us on Friday. Not only do we not have a game on Friday, but on Saturday, we're starting at noon Eastern time. Is it noon or 11? That's 11 a.m. Central, noon Eastern time. Yeah. So join us then for, you know, getting down to the wire of the U.S. Championship. Yeah, the things are really hitting up and two last rounds will, as expected, only the last rounds will have a winner and two last rounds must be exciting. So join us Saturday, noon Eastern Time. Well, what time on Sunday Thanks, we start? 11 Eastern. I also just want to remind you that we have, we'll have have our Round 7 recap video posted later today. Well, right right late to tonight. Oh, right. oh it, was, it was in the uh, uh, US chess chess oh, oh, I was just looking at it. Oh, where you'll also yeah. find player it's interviews. All their books and, stuff. and, of course, all of the audio clips you hear uh, on the show here can be found at uh, chess.fm. And, uh, of course, the game of the day with Grandmaster Nick DeFermian as well will be on chessclub.com. So tune in with us Saturday for round 8 at noon Eastern, and we will look forward to seeing you for the last two rounds of the U.S. Championship. Oh, the book.